what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and today we have number three in the big three series where i cover j cole drake and kendrick lamar so today's topic is why kendrick lamar will always be the goat rapper now of course let's start with the primary competition that people are looking at today which is just drake it's drake or kendrick lamar and drake has far beyond proved himself to be the dominant commercial figure he was not only the first rapper to hit 10 billion streams on spotify he was the first artist to hit 10 billion streams on Spotify. Although Kendrick Lamar might beat Drake in small periods and snippets, overall his numbers are nowhere near Drake's in the same way that the number two soda and Pepsi is nowhere near the sales of Coca-Cola. But still, just like there's people who are like, man, Pepsi is way better than Coca-Cola. I hate Coca-Cola as a matter of fact. You got those same people who support Kendrick Lamar. They don't just think that Kendrick is better. They don't think Drake is anywhere near Kendrick Lamar as far as being the best rapper. But from a commercial marketplace standpoint, that doesn't really matter. Drake was the first mover into the market and dominated since. If you don't understand what I mean by that, check out the Drake video of my Big 3 series. But there's something that has been happening where more and more you see people just proclaiming Kendrick as the GOAT rapper saying Drake isn't even a competition, you can't even compare him. The credit for Kendrick Lamar's increase in regard as number one rapper should be credited to none other than Meek. Millie. And if you remember back in 2007 when Meek Mill really started coming at Drake and then they had the battle, you know, back to back, all that stuff. One of the key things outside of Meek Mill just being mad at Drake was his accusation of Drake having ghostwriters. And we all know that from a media and a mass consumer standpoint, which this series is basically covering, that Drake killed Meek Mill unanimously. But it's highly arguable that Meek Mill did far more damage to Drake than Drake did to Meek Mill in the long run. Why? Because another law in reference to marketing is the law of categories. And what this law basically states is that if you can't be first in one category, then you need to be first in another category, maybe a subcategory. For instance, if you know anything about cartoon movies, then you know that Disney has been dominating cartoon movies since forever. And this is since the release of the first ever cartoon full-length movie in 1937, Snow White. However, in 1995, Pixar dropped the first ever full-length 3D cartoon movie, Toy Story. So while Disney is leading in this whole overarching cartoon movie game, Pixar comes in as a subcategory being the first to lead in people's minds with 3D cartoon movies. And the reason that's so important is because Meek Mill's accusation caused people to start separating Drake from being a rapper and leaning a lot more on that artist. A lot of people in the past will already say that Kendrick Lamar is a better rapper, Drake is just a better artist, but now the whole Ghost Rider situation has forced a lot of people to literally compartmentalize Drake into that box and not compare him to a lot of other rappers let alone Kendrick Lamar so now Drake is considered the first in the artist category by a lot of people in the same way Kanye was for his generation but Kendrick Lamar is now first as the rapper which is a subcategory of music artists so now today even though Drake probably still thinks he's the best in his head he's still very aware of what's going on in the thoughts in the consumer marketplace so you don't hear him making the same kind of accusations as he would before as far as his place in the game last name ever first name greatest that was cool then but now a lot of people will be like nah bruh your name is Aubrey so while Drake might be Disney in this scenario, Kendrick Lamar is Pixar. Or if you want to use my past example, Drake is Coca-Cola, but Kendrick Lamar is no longer Diet Coke. Kendrick Lamar is looked more as Sprite. Another soda, but you don't really compare him like that. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, so y'all go ahead and tag them up and share it with them so they can cut my chip. That's it. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.